did you know the Big Bang occurred in Chuck Norris of Pendex? <laughs> so yeah, in today's one, we'll be doing some random jokes about Chuck Norris. For all you first time comers in this channel, my name is Ipiwo. In this channel, we cover everything from HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So we'll be generating this random Chuck Norris jokes generator. As you guys can see over here, it generates a random joke every time you click the generate button with a little image that I got from Google, the man himself, Chuck Norris. So with no longer ado, let's get into this one. So guys, this is gonna be a fairly um, small tutorial if I can put it that way what I'm gonna do first is just do my bootstrap boiler boilerplate uh, but just doing b4 for bootstrap 4 dollar sign and it generates all this boilerplate for me this html file with the relevant css and javascript already there but i'm not gonna need this jquery of the bootstrap javascript so i'm just gonna get rid of all of that so all I need is just the CSS, the Bootstrap CSS. And now let's get started with this. I'm first I'm gonna start off as you guys know by now with my container. And then in this container, I'm also gonna add a class called text-center, which is a Bootstrap class. If I do it that way, you guys can immediately see. Now um, we generated this container class, a Bootstrap class, and that text-center is a Bootstrap class. Um, Cause I want my text to be centered over here. And then I'm gonna do my image, and then I'm gonna say image source, and I'm gonna give this image a worth of 200 pixels. I can just remove this um, source set and also this alt, I'm not gonna use that. And I'm just gonna copy this image that I just got from Google Images. So yeah, it's not like an image that I've purchased or anything. I just got it from Google images if you guys were wondering okay so just below that what i'm gonna have is my container i'm just gonna call this jokes dash container let's see if i can spell container i can't spell container jokes container and within this i'm also gonna have a margin bottom of four and then inside of this let's quickly go back over here this margin bottom of four over here to do that spacing and then just below that i'm going to have a p tag so my p tag i'm going to use to generate my text in it and then what i'm going to do next is i'm going to have this muted text that i have in the beginning of this to say that if there's no joke generated as yet just show this text for me okay so this muted text i'm just going to say if you don't let's make it don't laugh um Chuck will know and he will find you. Yep. He'll definitely will find you. Okay, let's do it like that. Um sorry for that K guys. I think that K came out really really loud. Was not my attention. Now let's add a button and this button I'm just gonna give it a class of BTN BTN dash primary. I'm gonna also make it large. Let's say BTN large, and I'm gonna just call this generate, which is this generate button over here. And I'm gonna add an unclick event to this. So unclick whenever someone clicks it, I want it to get a new joke. So I'm just gonna say get get jokes. I'm gonna create a function called get joke. Okay, but before we get to that, let's quickly go into the styling so styling will be let's quickly save this and see how this looks let me go live over here show you guys what this looks like so this is what we currently this is what we currently have so let's do a little bit of styling to this guy okay. so now i can say body and my visual studio understands what i'm trying to do now i'm going to display it flex i'm going to see align items center I say justify content center. Okay, let's put this in a new line. Um, justify content center. The next thing that I want to do, I want to give it a min height. So my min height it is gonna be one hundred vh. Supposed to be vh. And a background color of hashtag EFEFEF. Okay, 
save that and everything move down to the center now I'm, i just want to style that box where all the jokes are being generated in and i called it one dash jokes container so in my jokes container i'm gonna do more or less of the same i'm gonna have a padding okay so it's gonna say 25 pixels all around that's my padding and then i'm gonna have a box shadow which just makes it looks nice box shadow say zero five pixels 12 pixels rgba for transparency 000.0.4 and below that i'm gonna add a background color just to make sure it's white and I'm going to add a color to my text to make sure that my text is visible so you can see my text at all times. Go okay, if I save this, let's see. There we go. I'm not really liking that shadow over there. I didn't make it 12. I made it actually 112. Much better. That looks much better. Um, Just to, let's say, border radius five pixels just add a border radius five pixels so they don't have those sharp corners around those corners okay go ahead and start generating the jokes so let's go ahead and say script so in my script tag i'm going to create a function and say const i called it get joke it's equal to async function because i'm getting data from an api so i'm just gonna say async let me just say this is as6 uh, my arrow function over there so what i'm gonna do inside of my arrow function i'm gonna create another variable which i'm gonna call rest for a response and then i'm just gonna use my fetch um api my fetch javascript api to say but before I do that, let me just add a wait batch, and I'm gonna fetch from the URL called https forward slash forward slash api dot it's Chuck Norris dot io forward slash jokes forward slash random. So this is gonna return a random joke every time for me um and once i've received that random joke it's gonna say const random underscore joke is equals to await rest wait it's supposed to be await i'm gonna say rest which is the variable declared before this dot json okay which is this variable over there and i'm saying return the json re representative um of this whatever it's being returned into that and once i've have that i can go ahead and say document dot query selector because i'm not using any ids and i only have like one p element or paragraph element in my whole application i can actually go ahead and do this i'll highly advise you not to do it to either use a class or an id to select it but because this is such a small um application i'm just doing it this way okay so i can say random joke dot value okay and then below that i'm just gonna say document dot query selector i'm gonna do the same thing and next i'm just gonna select my small which is this default text over here and all i want to do is just remove that i'm gonna say style dot display is equal to none so just hide it whenever a whenever this is clicked that the random button is clicked and the joke is generated hide this um default message for me okay let me go ahead and save it now let's see if i click on generate wait for it there we go the voice of randy orton hears in his head i uh, in fact chuck knows whispering to him 
<laughs> so yeah, when Randy goes, like, your voice in my head is hearing Chuck Norris whispers. Hey guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this small quick tutorial. If you like this one, please click the like button. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Click on the bell icon so you get notified. And next time I publish another tutorial or another video on my channel. Until next time, guys, stay safe.